Hey, what's up, everybody? So you might have been hearing about Tripo 3D lately. This is another type of program that lets you insert an image and turn it into a 3D model, or maybe you can even enter a prompt and have that turned into a 3D model. And I want to show you how the image to 3D generator compares with the free version on Maker Lab and show you the results. I'm going to be using ChatGPT to generate the image and then using this 3D generator from Tripo and the Maker Labs 3D image to 3D generator and showing you the differences that I found with them just based off one model. So it's going to be a small sample size. So stay tuned and let's check it out together. All right. So really quick, I found this cute little model on Maker World. Here is the artist. If you want to follow, it's called Angry Little Fat Cat. And I want to show you how you can take an image like this if you want to create likewise models, okay, just say, hey, maybe I want to make a hippo in this style, or maybe I want to make a fox in this style. And I want to show you how you can capture an image and convert it into whatever you want. And then we'll take that image and plug it into the 3D modeler. All right, so I downloaded a picture of that cat. I hit the plus sign down here on chat GPT at the bottom, and it says add photos and files. I added this picture right here and here is my prompt I said here is a picture of a grumpy little cat create me an image of a 3d model in this style of a different animal okay maybe not the perfect prompt but it worked it gave me a nice little fox now notice it also captured layer lines okay so I would suggest getting rid of these layer lines before you plug it into your image to 3d generator if you don't your your model will also have these layer lines created with it prior to printing. So you don't want that. I said, I can see all the layer lines. Can you make the surface look smooth? OK, that was my prompt. And here we go. I mean, look at this, guys. This looks like a resin print. It is amazing. Nice. So I'm going to take this image and I'm going to plug it into 3D modelers, both the Tripo AI and also the Maker Lab to see if there is a difference in how they generate these models for us. But man, if you were just uh, sculpting on your own, you could sculpt a great little creature from this. So you, this is how you can use AI to generate amazing pictures. I think it did a great job. All right, so we are back on tripo3d.ai. Okay, that is the website. So if you're looking at typing it, T-R-I-P-O, the number three, letter D, and then dot AI, and it brings you to this i have used it once before to test for this video so i have used a little bit of the currency but it gives you about 300 free currency when you make your account all right so let's go to try tripo studio you can see i'm already logged in i already used 15 of my points and right up here highlighted in yellow it says generate 3d models that's where we're going to go so hit generate 3d models and this is where it takes us okay so it has different features that you can use but the one we are going to explore today is image to 3d and we're going to compare this with the maker lab version so let's go to image to 3d and you can hit drag or upload your image. And I'm gonna hit this and upload our little fox. So now we have our fox uploaded. It's saying that it can generate this model for us. Right down here, it's gonna cost us 15 currency. Once again, you get about 300 free to test this when you make your account beyond this currency. And for more features, you're gonna have to buy it, okay? But this is the free version. So generate this model, let's go ahead and hit that. Now it does a little bit thinking, it's queuing our generation, it's going to take some time to speed up, you can probably spend more currency or get the paid version, it's going to take less than a minute to generate this model, so we'll go ahead and wait. Alright, there it is guys, it generated our little model up here, you can see the fox on the top right, so I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it's going to import it right here onto the plane, and here is our fox. Now, watch this, from this angle, the angle of the picture roughly, Everything looks good, right? Everything looks good, but let's turn it around and notice that tail. That tail is not centered the way it should be. I wish it was, but the problem is it's capturing the image from, rather it's capturing the model from the angle and doing its best to predict where the pieces should fit. So maybe we'd have more luck with changing the angle of this picture. That is what I suggest. Try telling the chat, GPT to do a side angle and a front angle and a back angle and find out which angle works best for you to get the placement where you need it with the different parts, right? Because sometimes a leg might be off, a fur puff might be off, an ear might be off, and you really got to mess with it. Otherwise, you will have to take it into a 3D modeler like Blender and you can further refine it. Um, now, this does have a refine feature in 
their application, but you do have to have the paid version to do more, right? So maybe I want to do segments. Segmentation means that it will break your model into pieces and maybe that would be right for us. But if you go to segmentation, um, you can see start segmenting. You actually have to upgrade. If I hit upgrade, here are their plans, guys. Um, we are on the basic free version, which you get 300 credits a month to mess with your model and you get 15 downloads a month. OK, beyond that, you actually have to pay, but I won't be paying today. Let me know if you guys want me to do a paid feature and uh, further showcase some of Tripo. But today we're just using the free model generator. Now you can see once again, uh, I'm going to switch back to generation. You can see once again that tail is not centered. Maybe you're happy with this model and you'd print it just like this. But most people, if you're sharing your model, they're going to want all the pieces to look proper and that tail does not look proper. Now let's compare this to using the free Maker Lab version, which would generate the same thing, although it doesn't add, um, offer segmentation. Okay, let's try that. All right, guys, so we're on the Maker World website. We're Once again, we're looking at the top features here. We're going to Maker Lab. Click on Maker Lab, scroll on down all the way, and you will see image to 3D model. It's the one with the little buggy car, and that's what we're using. That is the same type of program as what we just used with Tripo AI. So let's hit try it. Now over here, you can hit generate a new model, or you can simply upload your picture here. I'm gonna upload our Fox picture. All right, so we've got our Fox picture there, and we're gonna hit generate so it can generate our model. It's using the same exact angle, and we'll see if we get the same or different results with this. All right, so here is our model with Maker Lab. Let's go ahead and see if we got a different result on that tail. Let's go to the angle of the image, which is about right there. Everything is looking wonderful once again. And as we scroll back, oh no, that tail is not centered on the booty, man. It is not centered on the booty. So we find we are having the same issue with both generator so if you were curious if you've used maker lab and you were curious if tripo ai would change the results in how images are generated to 3d models you can see we've got the exact same results so i don't know if they are using the same type of modeling program or what the variations are but it still did not capitalize on fixing that tail all right so i just wanted to show the difference between these two and that you can use them i'm sure to the same success if you have a different image we will try the fox one more time with the side view and see if our results are different i will showcase those much quicker all right so i asked chat gpt can i see this fox model from a side profile it delivered guys let's see if this works any better on both of the generators all right guys so we're back on tripo 3d.ai i'm gonna hover over our little fox picture there's a trash bin click the trash bin go to image to 3d once again click that download or upload our image we're going to upload our new fox all right you can see we have our new side profile fox uploaded and we're going to go to generate for 15 more currency the things i do for you guys on these videos all right i'm getting rid of my currency let's go ahead and see how it turns out it's going to take some time once again all right guys it's done generating let's go ahead and see how our fox turned out here's the big reveal click on your fox icon up here and how's it looking any problems i mean it's looking rather cute not not as grumpy and cute as the first one it's got less four details to work with but overall the placement is much better still not perfectly centered but actually more realistic than the other one you know this model is pretty satisfactory to me i could use this um once again it's, it's losing some of the forward features that you get with the other model some of the fluffiness and cuteness but it still completely works now let's go ahead and see how maker labs turns out all right back on makers lab go ahead and go to the generate new model down here let's click that let's upload our new picture we've got our side profile fox ready to go and we're going to hit generate and see if we can notice any differences once again with Trippo, we lost some of that cuteness. It's doing the best it can, though, with the side profile. Let's see if we get the same exact model generated as we did with Trippo. Then that's going to kind of show if they're using the same kind of software engineering. So let's see what it gives us. All right, guys, we've got our model generated here. Let's go ahead and start turning it and see what it looks like. And look at that. I mean, it looks really, really similar to the Trippo. They, they look practically the same. So I don't know if they're using the same software or not, but you're definitely getting a very similar image. Now, just to note, this is just a side note, if you end up creating something like this and downloading it, 
usually the bottom half of the model is not going to sit completely flat on your build plate and you might have to cut that to get a even surface okay but other than that yeah the model looks great looks very similar to one another i think i showed on my duck video how to cut the bottom of this model uh but yeah this looks wonderful so um it looks not as cute as the front facing model but it does still capture a lot of the detail so hopefully you guys were happy with this comparison thanks for tuning in let me know down in the comment sections if you got any other video ideas that you would like to see executed on this channel and uh yeah thanks for being here don't forget to subscribe man see you on the next one peace